There, there's that thing is gonna try to kill me in here. Oh fuck! Well, that's just fucking fantastic. What? Oh, all right, I guess I have to read this. Excerpts from logbook entries written by Dr. Ivan Wonski. Or Ivan, I don't know. No, Ivan is um, Latino. Ivan is, is Russian. Okay, do you know what we wanted to do? We played gods, telekinesis, tel uh, telepathy, group hypnosis, causing mental and physical di disorders, creating disintegrated space. Subjects did not even handle a sample of the radiation. The ones that somehow survived behaved... Wait, survived, behaved as if possessed. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Um, communicating with us in different voices, languages that we could not even recognize. And then all of them died, one after another. Some turned into rock and some into ashes. I remember one who levitated, all his limbs twisted, and his, he froze like that above the ground. A long time has passed, but it still haunts me. I, re bleh, I remember it. I see it happening in front of me every night. Did anyone survive? They later told me that nobody did, but I think one of the subjects could have survived. Do you have any idea what we have done, my dear Anton? Noise. Noise. Okay. Okay. I thought this was going to be underground, though. Yeah, so we're down here now. Well, shit, I may have missed all that stuff then. It'd be really cheap. To have that monster come after me now, though. That would really suck. <gasps> oh, God damn you! Ah, fuck, am I stuck? That's just bullshit. Oh, this is not fair. I don't like this. Yeah, he's down over there. <laughs> what an idiot. Idiot. Oh, God damn it. That's just... No, God, fuck. Maybe if I go to higher ground. Whoa. All right. Now I'm hearing some girl crying. What is this shit? Ugh, I I don't like this. I don't like this monster trying to kill me all the time. What is this by the way? It's like an altar or something. Alright, let me look around real quick. Eh. Yeah, you know, no. You know what? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna pick whatever that note is up. Then we'll move on. Resists, but defends itself from what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact the fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, 
I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember that in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. Shit. I could have sworn my flashlight was flickering. I could have sworn that was happening. What is this noise? Alright, it's around. I heard more noises. Where are we currently? Okay, we're right here. Okay. Okay. Is that campfire? I feel like there's a campfire up there. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, alright. Just came full circle. That's good. That's good. Good thing. Alright, so that collapse didn't didn't completely ruin things, I guess. Let's just get back up here and regroup for a second. Jesus Christ. Alright, according to this map right now, we're about halfway done with all the uh coordinates that we have to come across. We've come we've seen four. And we have five left. I'm guessing there's going to be another one in the little really high mountainous region right up there. Probably one down there. I wouldn't be surprised. We've got, a f you know, some other, you know, undiscovered space in this region that we haven't uh, come across yet. So yeah, we got a couple things. A couple more. All right, let's go. Oh, that would have been a... Very steep fall. Alright, what is that down there? There is something over there. I don't know if that's a campfire or what. Oh. More fire over there. This would be a very easy place to stick Shadow for me. That's what I'm calling him now. He's Shadow. We have our falling outs every once in a while, but we're still friends. That's his nickname. What of it? That's either a campfire or something really... Oh, no. It's not a campfire. Torches. What is this shit? Not liking how this is going. Oh. Very dark in here. It's very dark in here. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Alright. Well, point of no return. I don't know what that's all about. We're really going underground now. What do you want to bet we end up seeing hell? Bet that's the next place. Oh, campfire. I don't think this is uh, one of those really nice campfires, though. Alright, so we have three different places we can go. None of them good, I imagine. Say where we are right now? Nope. Doesn't say. This isn't one of those campfires. Alright, really dark down there. Really dark. Not liking it. A little bit brighter over there. Probably it's brightest down there, so clearly it's going to be safe. Because that's how that works. Oh, it's all hazy and foggy and shit. Where are we going? I don't even understand. You think you are significant? That you will uncover the truth for everyone to see? So you can point the finger at the monster? First, 
take a look at the mirror. What is that supposed to mean? Am I the shadow monster? That's not what he means, though. Let's be honest. All right, so if I continued walking down that way uh, over there, I found out that it actually leads me back to where I started not too long ago near the uh, little uh, candle sort of tribute thing. So I went ahead and I decided to go ahead and go back. I'm not quite sure where this leads me, though. Still not really sure where I am. This is concerning. I don't like new places. Uh, more of those signs over there. Okay, so this takes me out to the pond? I think I went this way. No, that's not possible. No, I think I'm right here. I'm pretty sure that's where I am now. Where is that damn mountain? This is tough, dude. I really don't know. Where does this lead? Good God, man. No, you know what I'm doing? I'm probably going all the way through... Wait, hold on a sec. Yeah, you know what? I probably just went under here? I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there, though. But maybe, just maybe, if I keep going, I'll be able to get up that way. It's possible. Yeah, see, there's a campfire over there. There's got to be a way of getting up there. You see, there's fire over there, too. Oh, hey! Hello? I, I believe we've met. At the beginning, I wanted to make things right. I believed God itself touched me. That I have received a chance, a compensation for the evil that was brought upon me. That I understood that it is not God, or good, or restitution. Just a tool of revenge. Alright, I'm pretty sure I'm heading in the right direction. Yeah, I think we're right here, actually. Because, yeah, there's that little bit of land right there, and I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Now, hold on a second. All right, so we're currently, what, like 1347, right? All right, 752. So, yeah, we're pretty close. We're 752. Wait, okay. Don't know my coordinates. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, okay, so right here, we're very close to one. Very, very close to one. Hello, skulls. Who got all of you? Has, like, some dude... Is that shadow monster just, like, going around killing people? Just bringing all their skulls up here? Like, I mean, it adds the, to the decor, but otherwise it seems like needless death. I have to say. Did, and did he decorate all these sticks? Like, putting all that stuff on there? Also, did he, did he set up those torches? This ghost has been doing some work. Are you coming to Shadow, whatever. You already asked me that question, dude. It was like four parts ago, but you asked me. And I believe I answered. Hmm. I think we're still going the right way, I'm pretty sure. 
It seems as though Sean Bean is kind of just talking to us just to let us know, yeah, you're going the right way. You're fine. You're good. Oh. Did I make a misstep somewhere? No, I guess I just drop. Maybe up here? Okay. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shitty shit. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, this is water. Oh. Where is he? Where is he? I don't see him. Do you guys see him? I don't see him. The flashlight's not, like, no, he's here. He is definitely here. My money is on him being over there somewhere. Oh, I think that's him. Fuck it, just make a run for it. Run up that way. Can't run up that way, fuck. I think I'm stuck. Shit, okay. I have no idea where he is. Fuck it, just keep running. <laughs> fuck it. I thought I heard a paper somewhere. I keep on hearing papers. Alright, where are we? We're 10 north, 57 east. North 57 East. Okay, so we're right here. Okay, we're good. I know, I know your physical exertion. I understand. Well, hold on a second. What's this? Uh. Hmm. That's probably where I'm supposed to go, so I'm going to go here, because I'm a stubborn bastard. Oh, note. It's somewhere around here. I can hear it. Indeed. Oh my god, that's a lot. Alright, Death Valley. Anthony Nizni, or Nizni, I don't know. A scientist and expert on the Saka Republic set off to the area of that, known as the Death Valley. What has he discovered there? What are the mysterious constructions buried in the ground? Only here you can get the answers and other unbelievable facts concerning this godforsaken place on Earth. I set off at dawn. If you had not seen dawn by the river Vili Vilu? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you have not seen the most beautiful thing on the planet. This is a magical place full of nostalgia of what mankind has lost. Freedom, space, nature, wild and uncontrollable. There is no, there is no place for compromises, because this religion is as beautiful as it is dangerous. I arrived in Death Valley around noon. The area stretches out over an area of 100,000 square kilometers, so you have to know what you are looking for. Luckily, I had a great guide. We stumbled upon the first building more or less after two hours of walk. Not much can be deciphered by observing a pile of ground from the outside, but the readings clearly show that what is be uh, beneath is at least seven meters in diameter. It reminds a large buried church with protruding edges. It is also difficult to determine how many such buildings is exist in the area. I talked to the natives, and from what I gather, there are at least 11 constructions scattered around in different places in the valley. What could these, what could these enormous mounds be? Many inhabitants claim that they have something to do with the Tunguska event. Uh, there is a common ground for countless unexplained stories and folk tales. For example, I have heard of a hunter named Arleman. Uh, as he was not able to find any game, he went deeper into the forest until he got lost. He was sure he was going to die when he found a strange construction. Suddenly, the ground shook and a secret door opened. A man came out and he gave Arleman just one advice. Protect yourself against the orange light. He got out of the forest after a week. Until now, it is impossible to confirm 
this mysterious meeting, but I heard the story from Arlaman's granddaughter herself. Okay, protect yourself, protect yourselves against the orange light. So the orange light is not good. Or, hold on a sec, maybe... It's hard to say, there are two different orange lights in this game, technically. There's the, the shadow, which turns orange whenever it sees you, or is about to attack you, or something like that. Um, and then there's the... Am I stuck? Okay, I was stuck there for a second. And the other one is the one leading us to all these different destinations. Um, that one's a little bit more glowy, but it's still orange, so... Hard to say which one they're talking about, or maybe it's the same thing. <gasps> Wouldn't that be crazy? Alright, ominous music, I get it. Hey, calm your shit. God. Oh, another note. Where are you? Right here. Oh. Fuck. Oh, double fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, God damn it, you fucker. You fucker! Run, just run, just run, just run. Oh, Christ. Oh, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. How do I get out? How do I get out? Fuck! Where do I go? Then where's the shadow guy? Where? Oh, I was supposed to go up there. Well, that's anticlimactic. Where's this note? Oh, okay. Was that just like playing mind games with me or something? The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m., we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. Oh, what's it? These are the questions you should probably answer. Alright, so I can't go up there. Then, presumably I'd go over there then. Hold on, where is this newest note that I picked up? Alright, it's one of these two. Whatever, anyway. Is this it? That cannot be it. That would be... That would surely be death. No, no chance. That is not it. Well... Shit, man. I don't know. Did I miss something over here? No. I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, can I go under here? Oh, okay. Got it. I I knew that. Wait, what is it? 55 east, 17 north. 55 east, 17 north. Wait, so that's where I am now? Am I going backwards? What is this? Alright, so there's two different areas. I don't understand why there's a divide here. Seems to be no purpose for that. Well, what do we have here? We have a bridge. Looks like a bridge. Okay. 
What is this? Is there a note? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You're gonna come alive, aren't you? I'm just gonna get a, get a th thumbnail. This, this is the thumbnail for the video. Okay. Okay. Finally, we made it to the pass. Thank God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look. But it looked like something was sticking out. Or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, Go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked... What on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness, or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. Damn. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I was right. I was right. Get the fuck out of here. No stopping. Don't you dare think about getting tired. Shit. Run, run, you fucker. I don't care if you're tired. Do it anyway. Oh. Oh, that's... unfortunate.